it's not only for film. If you work with anyone, mm. and this mm. is television, stage, whatever, mm. if you are even uh, co-writing, if you have a writing partnership, which can be bliss, because I write with someone sometimes, uh, always have a partnership agreement between you. Uh, no matter how close you are or whatever. It's just one page. I think it might even be on the Guild website. Uh, and it just spells out that it's 50-50 or whatever it is, and y y if any dispute ever happens, there's no problem, because you never want to fall out with your writing partner, and people do. And, and people will try and divide you. Yes, they will. And it, also, then they start, well, I wrote more than he did, and he was drunk, he was lazy, he never showed up on time. That was my line, that was my idea. Uh, my writing partner is one of my closest friends. I trust him beyond anything. It wasn't until I co-wrote the, the agreement, the, um, the agreement, the, the letter of agreement, that I realised we didn't have one. <laughs> so, you know, we have the too same fraught, agent. Too fraught with danger. It is. It is. Just protect yourself. And if I may say what you were saying about writers don't like to rock the boat. That's the polite way of saying it. I'm going to go the other extreme. We're back to be brave. Mm. Uh, whose boat is... He's ro he, he might be trying to rock your boat. You know, I've learned not to get into rocky boats because unless you're protected from the start... And trust your instincts. If, it, if it's There's an old Quebec expression, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. It's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody doesn't seem kosher to you at the very and, and outset... The, and the bottom line yeah. is, you are if you're going to be doing a film... Your minimum amount of commitment to that other person is going to be two, three years. Yeah, same with the telly. It's before I, I yeah, before I go into a project, I think, do I want to spend the next eight, oh, a do I want to spend the next year or two writing this project, because sometimes it's not as easy. Do and do I want to be shackled to this person because he's annoying me now, <laughs> and I think he's an Egypt now. Uh, trust your, and then there are other people you go, I will do anything to work with you. Uh, trust your instincts. Can I come in and say, say how, how, what, 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 what good advice you've had? Um, uh, because uh, in the Writers Guild office, mm -hmm. every day the phone will ring, it'll be somebody that's got some kind of problem. Maybe they haven't been paid, yeah. or maybe they didn't get the uh, royalties they were expecting, or <coughs> maybe they thought somebody stole their idea, or whatever it is. Um, uh, there, are, there are hundreds of different kinds of uh, issues that, that individual members bring up with us, uh, as I say, every day. And almost invariably, the very first question I or one of my colleagues will ask is, well, have you got your contract? Send in your contract, fax it, email it, we will then read it, then we will know what our starting point is. Because until you know what that writer has actually agreed to, then and you And that don't word know agreed you to, you have agreed to something mm. legally. And the number of times we get these contracts, we look at them and you think, within two paragraphs, yeah. you can see there's no, almost no point in fighting it because the writer has signed away um, yeah. almost, almost a kind of right to, to retain testicles, you know.